Hello, my name is Miss Tina and today I'm going to demonstrate the water cycle. The materials you're going to need are a plastic bag, a Sharpie marker, a cup of water, some blue food coloring, and some tape. Okay, so I'm gonna take my marker and I'm going to draw on the bag. I'm gonna draw a cloud, draw the sun, and then let's see, some water, maybe even a fish or two. Okay. Can everyone see my bag? Then what I'm going to do, pour some water in it. And then I'm going to put some blue food coloring. One, two, three. I'm going to swish it up a little bit. Now I'm going to go find a window and use some tape and then tape it up to the window. Let's go. I have a sunny window. I have my bag and my pieces of tape. And then we're going to keep this here for as long as it takes to see if the water is going to come up and evaporate. But we'll see how long that takes. Check on the bag every 30 to 60 minutes and make observations about what you can see. And you've just observed the water cycle. Well, what happened? Heat from the sun warms the water in the cup, which will eventually gradually evaporate. This turns the water into a gas that we can't see called water vapor. As this gas cools, it condenses into water droplets, which appear on the insides of the bag. If enough water droplets collect, these will eventually run down the sides of the bag in the same way rain and snow falls from the clouds. So the water cycle. First of all, water comes in three forms, a solid, liquid, and gas. And the water cycle pushes water through all three of these states. So the first one, Water is collected in rivers, lakes, and oceans. Number two, water then evaporates or turns into a gas and is carried up by warm air. Number three, condensation is when water vapor reaches high cool air and forms the clouds. And lastly, number four is precipitation. This is when the clouds get so heavy that the water in the clouds fall back down to earth as rain, snow, hail, or sleet, which starts the water cycle all over again.